Home Coach, sponsored by Snyder HVAC Plumbing and Electric. Uh, enhance your home's lighting in an energy efficient way. We've got Jimmy Humphreys. He's the electrical service manager with Snyder, and we're talking about LED wafer lights, something I haven't heard of. So mm -hmm. thanks for joining us today. Yes, ma'am. Glad, glad to be here. Yeah, tell us about wafer lights. Okay, well, I brought an example here for you to see. This is actually the trim section that actually sticks down through the ceiling that you'll actually see from the um, looking from the bottom at the ceiling. And here's your connection box here where the uh, high voltage power will go into the box. Okay. And then what it does, it has a transformer little driver in it that changes the voltage to 12 or 24 volts. And it has this little bitty connector you see right here. And it plugs into the connector on the actual um, LED module. Mm -hmm. And then as you put that up to the ceiling, you run wire to wire between them. You're able to make a hole in the ceiling and you put these up. These have little wings that pop and they pop up. Right. And then that's your finished product. That secures it. Yep. So let's talk about can lighting then. I mean, what's the difference there? Well. This is your old standard can light. Here's a four inch recess light that will go up on the rafters. How you see it has the bar mounting bars that oh, go yeah. up though. This is much more for new construction type work. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people go with this kind because they like the options of the trims because you can have wall washers for pictures, gotcha. things on fireplaces and stuff. So you have more trim options, but then you have the bulb that goes in it. That's not an LED option. Um, some people like this kind of old school type thing, but this new stuff that's come out is much more advanced. And I'll show you right here, it has a selector switch on it for color. Oh, neat. And that makes it so if you people say, oh, I don't like LED light, well, you can pick the colors you want, brighter fluorescent, warmer light like an incandescent bulb, yeah. and and much more energy efficient. That's what I was going to ask. Mm -hmm. But they're both recessed lighting, right? Or both, recessed lighting. both consider recessed lighting, yes, ma'am. Okay, let's talk about, though, the energy efficiency. I, I mean, we were talking earlier, mm -hmm. how many hours? 50,000 hours. Oh, my yep. gosh, that's wonderful. Yep. Um, are there pros? though to can lighting um, you know if somebody does decide they'd rather have that well the pros to the can lighting is you really need to put that up in a new construction uh, uh, application mm -hmm. if you do it in it after the th like I'm doing a remodel that the sheetrock ceilings are already up right the the labor cost of putting them in is much more intensive but again like I said earlier the trims makes it better but this kind of like the wave of what everyone's going with now they just be and it's really uh, appealing to the eye so. okay it seems it seems like that is a little bit easier to install yes but should you hire a professional if that is something you want to incorporate I, in your home? I really think that you probably would be to do with wiring unless you have a background in wiring or some uh, actual professional training. Yes, you right. should definitely call a professional uh, and call us here at Snyder. We can come out and give you an estimate for it. All right. Well, thank you so much for explaining the yes, difference. Glad to be here. And that you can help us out. All right. Thank All you. right. I love that. Uh, and if you'd like to see this segment again or learn a little bit more, of course, you can head to our website, firstcoastliving.net.